Harry's wife. Nanny meets man and woman. World must be told. In an uncertain world of shifting opportunities and great uncertainties, with people unsure about what the future brings, they need rocks upon which they can anchor themselves, knowing that what lies ahead can be navigated. It is with those thoughts, of course, that the always kind and empathic Duchess of Overseas ensures that you, the little people, are furnished with information which brings you solace and comfort in these dark, dark times. Whatever your concerns and worries might be, you can rest assured that the Duchess of Industrial Beige understands you, is there to protect you, to look after you, and she does so in a way that nobody else on this planet is able to achieve by explaining to you aspects of her utter brilliance. It is important for you to realise that an angel, nay, a goddess walks the earth whose every touch brings comfort to the unwell, that she casts out disease by the simplest look upon the fevered brow, that she brings calm where there is chaos, that she brings comfort where there is discord and fear. She only needs stroll into a room and all heads will turn towards her as a consequence of her magnificence, her magnetism and her rampant empathy. We are reminded of this on a regular basis as a consequence of crucial and fundamental pieces of information shared in the newspapers, in the media, in broadcast news. Fundamental, groundbreaking missives circulated through the media to ensure that you are aware that this goddess is there looking out for you that you're not alone. And it is with that that you can sit and listen to the velvety tones of your glorious narrator as I explain to you another occasion where Harry's wife does something amazing. This time, it's reported by Kirsten McStay, okay, in the Daily Record, with the title, Archie's Former Nanny, Say's first meeting with Prince Harry and Harry's wife was surprising. Yes, the world needs to know about the first meeting that took place between Prince Harry and Harry's wife and the nanny. Irrespective of wanting to know what's really going on in the war between Ukraine and Russia, cast that to one side. If you have concerns about the COVID vaccinations and you have been sorting further information to ascertain whether there is any substance in your concerns, put that to one side. If you want to work out why successive governments engage in propaganda and lies, forget about it. It's mere minutiae compared to this brilliant information. The article tells us as follows. The nanny Prince Harry and Harry's wife hired to look after their son Archie has spoken out, hallelujah, about meeting the couple for the very first time. Praise be. Pediatric nurse and consultant Lauren Camulo was employed by the Sussexes to look after their first child just months after he was born, bringing up the past. At the time, the couple were residing at Frogmore Cottage before they quit their royal royals and moved to America. Therefore, they deemed that it's appropriate that we should be given information that's nearly four years old. In an interview, 
In her native Zimbabwe, Lauren opened up about the day she went along to Frogmore to meet Harry and Harry's wife for the first time. We can hardly wait. And she was put at ease by a very informal greeting from Harry. Speaking on an episode of The Breakfast Club with Zanzili and Bili, she said, I thought to myself, I wonder how their nannies look. Do they wear heels? Fair question. Prince William has got a Norland nanny, so they've got a brown uniform. That for my skin colour and the way it looks, in khaki brown, I knew it wouldn't even go. It would just not work. Well, fair enough. You want to wear something that you think would suit you. So I thought, I'll wear something dark and nice kitten heels. But I look presentable for a royal, so I need to do my best. But I didn't use any makeup. I said if they take me, they take me as I am. Good for you. I wasn't born with a silver spoon. I'm not blue blood. I will go as I am and trust me with my God. I'll get this job. Why not? She then revealed that she actually got a speeding ticket on her way there for driving too fast. Ah, that invariably is what happens when you get a speeding ticket. It does tend to be for the fact that you were driving too fast. I've not known anybody get a speeding ticket for not driving too fast. But thank you for explaining that. She added, So I got there, and there's lots of checks that they do. But when I got there, I expected to see a princely somebody in those very expensive German Swiss suits or something. He was in his jeans, in a T-shirt, walking barefoot because it was hot. Gosh, what a scruffy twat, huh? Letting you down. He ought to have turned up wearing a crown and some ermine, if you ask me. And I kept asking his PPO, so his protection officer, do I curtsy, do I have to? And he just looked at me and laughed and he said, you'll see... Prince Harry is amazing. Oh, isn't it good news that the personal protection officer thinks in such terms and feels that it's appropriate to share this with the nanny who can then share that with all of us so that we know that Prince Harry is amazing. <laughs> when I got there, the way he opened his arms, hello, Lauren, and gave me a hug. Oh, fantastic. Harry the hugger. I thought, wow, what a gentleman. What a gem. Oh my goodness, I couldn't believe it. How fortunate that you're able to share this with us now about how wonderful Harry is when everybody else thinks that he's a tosser. She continued, And when I walked in and saw Harry's wife, I thought, My God, what a beautiful woman. Is this what you want me to say? That's probably what happened, isn't it? Immediately, My God, what a beautiful woman. My God, what a beautiful woman. I just felt so comfortable as they handed over an envelope with some money in it and told me, go and tell everybody about how Harry's a great hugger and he's amazing and that I'm beautiful. Oh, okay. Is that my first assignment? Yes, it is, nodded Harry's wife with a strange glint in her eyes. Isn't this wonderful that years after the event, we're all treated to this matter being brought up from the past to tell us that Harry is amazing, that Harry gave her a hug, and of course to underline the fact that Harry's wife is beautiful. Yes, this utter asinine nonsense makes it into a newspaper article. It's complete bollocks, but we all know why it's being done. Harry's wife, as always, needs to ensure that the world is reminded about how wonderful her home life is, and of course, that she's beautiful and she's got an amazing husband. You now have permission to barf your guts up. I'm H.G. Tudor. Thank you for listening. Music